Hi, my name is John Beyer, and in this little video I'm going to show you how to erase CDs and DVDs using the Roxio Creator 9 program. Before we get started, there are a few things you need to be aware of. First, CDs and DVDs come in two major varieties, writable and rewritable. Writable CDs are usually designated with the minus R or the plus R designation. And with these CDs, you can write information to the disk, but you cannot erase the information once it's been written. On the other hand, rewritable CDs, or DVDs, are designated with a minus RW or plus RW designation. And these disks will allow you to record information on the disk. And then, at some later time, if you wish to erase the disk and use it again, you can do so. The main difference that you need to be aware of with rewritable disks is that when you erase a disk, you erase the entire contents of the disk. This is unlike erasing files and folders from hard drives and floppies and flash drives, because in these media, you can individually delete files and folders. On rewritable disks, you can't do that. Once you erase the disk, you erase everything on the disk. And that means you wipe out all the data that was previously there and start over again as if you had a brand new disk. So, given this information, let's go through the procedures and show you how to actually erase rewritable disks using the Roxio program. Okay, the first thing we need to do is launch the Roxio program. To do that, we take our cursor and move it over to the Start menu and click it. From here, we select Programs and then the Roxio Creator DE Group. From here, we then select Home. This will bring up the main Roxio program. And from here, we have a number of options that we can choose from. Since we're interested in erasing a disk, we'll go over to the right-hand side of the screen and select Erase a Disk. This will bring up the Erase Disk screen. And as you can see, there are two options here. The first option is the Quick Erase, and the second is the Full Erase. The Quick Erase, as it says, quickly erases the disk by removing the file structure and table of contents of the disk. The second option, the full erase, actually erases all the files and all the folders and thus takes longer to perform. Okay, once we've done this, we want to move our cursor down to the lower right hand side of the screen and click the little red button which will initiate the erase process. The next screen that comes up indicates the progress of the erasing process. And as you will see here, it estimates the number of minutes and seconds that it will take to erase your disk. Of course, the more information you have on the disk, the longer it takes to erase it. This is particularly true if you're using a DVD. Since a DVD holds so much more information than a CD, erasing a DVD is going to take much longer. Once the erasing process is complete, you will get the following screen. You will notice there is a little green check mark. This indicates that the disk was successfully erased. Sometimes it won't be successfully erased and you'll get a little red X instead of this check mark. And in that situation, you'll have to erase the disk again. So this is how you erase a disk using the Roxio program. If you need any additional information or run into problems as you're doing your erasing process, please refer to the Help section of the Roxio program.